it's really cool. You don't want it? Did you get this, Isaac? It's a, probably would be okay. How much is it? Are you some of those blue kids I Probably would, I guess. How much are they? Yo, what's up everyone? Good morning. It's 6 a.m. for us, so we're about to get ready to go to the flea market. And this is going to make for a really cool episode because I haven't had a day off in forever, so I'm just excited to be out there with the guys. On top of all that, we got some really cool stuff planned for you guys. So this is going to be for a fun day, uh, head out to the flea market, get some food, and again, thanks for watching. Let's go check out what the guys are doing right now, alright? See ya. Ever so gently, Leo awakes from its slumber, ready to hunt for video games. You do realize that I don't choose to have insomnia, right? Ever so gently, Leo reminds the audience of its insomnia so that it can stay vigilant and alert at all moments of night for video game deals on the I internet. I try to stay alert, but I have an energy drink that Sam gave me, so close enough. Ever so alert, the Leo drinks <laughs> the There we go. Look at that. Rise and shine. What's up, fam? Hold on, David. Throw it in the back. You know, we actually passed up your house like twice on the way here. <laughs> Isaac was like, hey, did we pass Nick's house? We just pulled up to the flea. Say hi, gentlemen. What's up, Hello. guys? What's hi, up, guys? Gentlemen. What are you guys trying to do today? Um, trying to have some fun at the flea, find some games, eat some gum. All right, what's everyone's like spending limit? What did you guys bring? What are we working with? We're rich today. $200. With I'm broke. $200? Yeah. <laughs> $40? Uh, seventy-six dollars. Nah, twenty. I brought fifteen on the reel. I actually brought money this time around. Last time we recorded and I was here, I think I only had ten dollars on me, right? And I spent it on a skateboard. So yeah. I have like forty on me right now. And uh, I told Leo if he needs me to spot him ten, that I'll spot him ten. So hopefully we'll get some good finds and we could get them on footage. So let's get going on it. Case. There's a blue case in there. Where? Underneath those games. Here, I bestow upon you the power, Nick. Or not. Ooh, 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 Nick. Nick didn't want to open it, that's his fault. <laughs> oh, this looks cool. Never heard of it. Cool. Ooh, ooh, I. Oh. Rental exclusive. Civil War. So far right now, the guys just kind of find this guy who uh, has a little case of games, got some demos and stuff in there. See anything you wanted, Leo? Nah, not yet. We'll let Nick and Sam have their go at this one. It's actually a really good game. I actually had this game growing up. Let's see it. What game? Uh, Pro, Pro Skater 3 and Pro Skater 4. And Underground 1. Awesome. See you, John. And the rest of them. You just picked it up? There's nothing really expensive. Got sports games here. This one always looks like Super Metro from far away. I'm got this so far. How are you doing? Ah, you know, just a young kid with a dream. Yeah. And I'm going to the bathroom. I'll be here all and uh, I'll be back. <laughs> the games are dog. I broke that. Hey, go pee. You don't want that Doom Steelbook, Nick? He was actually looking at it. I can't remember if I have this. Get this, Isaac? It's a Hollywood video case. How much is it? It's like a dollar. 
don't know. If it's a dollar, who cares? Oh, what's the other game you're holding? Doom? Doom. What is it? Oh, like a magnifier? <laughs> <laughs> This was also in that pile, but I'm noticing it says repair. I so I'm pretty sure it might not work. It says. <laughs> All right, can you get them out? Is that like this? Huh? Can you get them out? Can you see no, no, I'm going to pay you if I haven't got the red? Well, yes, yes, yes. Are you selling those blue PS2 controls? I would, I guess. How much are they? Um, Two for five. That's not bad. I have the machines to go. Don't do them. Nothing. Oh, I, I played no. this game going. Will this work? Uh, you know what? I think I can. I think, no, I'll put them in mine. That'll. Yeah. I have a Wicker one in there. So right now we found a seller who was selling a bunch of stuff out of the back of this truck, but everyone who had a backpack and if you watched our other video people with backpacks that means that they're trying to buy games too was over there just swarming the trunk as he was pulling everything out but we managed to get a, a bunch of cool stuff for a dollar each we'll showcase them later um sam what'd you think of that seller overall um well i mean we saw him last week he always has a bunch of stuff and literally everything's a dollar it's like it's it's a lot of good games but the thing is everybody knows that he has a good game for a dollar so everybody's swarming it and you could tell he was getting like Annoyed that everyone is like bothering him, but I mean Seems like a cool guy. So hopefully he keeps on going there more often. Yeah, we saw a nice blue um, N64 and he said it was already sold, but I think I heard him say that somebody had stolen the controller that goes with it So that's unfortunate. There was also a jungle green one as well if I remember correctly yeah. yeah, so he had a lot of cool stuff, but the thing is, is like he was very congested with people at the moment. So we're gonna go see what the rest of the flea market has to offer too. We did get some stuff off of him, but we want to make sure we see everything and we're not tied down to just one spot. All right, Leo, hand over your games and no one gets hurt. I surrender. So we're still walking around right now. I haven't really found a seller that's drawn us. What would you say, Leo? Nothing quite yet. I mean, the last seller had some good stuff, but everything was being picked through already because there was a bunch of people swarming it. We're looking for someone that has games, but kind of like maybe hit in a corner, and those are the people that you could kind of get lucky with sometimes. Yeah, and we ran into a guy that we usually buy things off of, and he had already bought some Turbo Graphics 16 stuff. Uh, hopefully we find some of that luck, but from what it looks like is that everything that has potential to be good is already swarmed, but that's to be expected nowadays at the flea market. You're never too early to come here, honestly. You wouldn't sell just the box, would you? No, I got gotcha. you. But it's a bundle deal, right? Yeah. Yeah, I gotcha. Thank you, though. Okay, you're welcome. We just found this seller who had a really cool Nintendo box. Uh, it, it looked like some sort of case for it, but. Um, it had the system in there and he was asking 60 for it with with the, box. with the box with the controllers console everything and all in all it's a really fair deal but it's like i think most of us who want an nes already have one and on yeah. top of that like uh, i'm really willing to pay 60 for an nes and a box in I just the flea market yeah he was right i just wanted the box yeah we just really wanted the box um he wasn't doing away with it and I don't know, personally I'm not in the mood to try and buy it and then sell the Nintendo itself. And, yeah, neither was that. You know, so. But still, really cool to look at. Yeah. Um, it would have been cool if he would have been down to sell it without the actual Nintendo itself, but I mean, it makes sense from his point. Yeah, totally. Board over there. Is it? Yeah. Where? Right hand side of the table. This would be cool just to play Time Crisis with. Uh huh. This one, right? I think uh, it puts her in the back. 
I'm not sure if it works on PS2 as well. Yeah, I'm not sure. I remember when this control came out. Might as well ask. A cuanto por esto? Yes. Yes. Some bones. PS1. Uh, can't really say. Uh, this thing's pretty cool, but it's just a novelty. It's just basically a jewel case that holds four PlayStation memory cards. That is really cool, though. Interested? No. You got that bad game, Genesis. Hey, uh, Sam, I got a box of Game Boy Game with other games. Yeah, or not a box, a case, whatever you want to call it. Hey, Nick, can you pass me that Mario Land 2? Of course. That's what I just said. Is that a Game Boy Advance video? What is it? Yep. Is it a Game Boy Advance video or classic NES series? What about this? That's really cool. You don't want it? Skater dies. Skater dies. Oh, that's cool. How much for the Game Boy game? Two for five. That's actually really good. Two for five, might as well. Who's oh, the we stopped at a guy who usually does have games. What do you think of the experience? Uh, I never really get stuff from his booth, to be honest. He usually overprices. Today he had stuff at decent prices for whatever reason, for you guys at least, but I didn't really see anything that interested me. I got two Game Boy games for five bucks, uh, Namco Museum and Kirby's Pinball Land. So I was pretty happy about that. Did you buy anything, Nick? No, I didn't. Nothing okay. really interesting. Right. Yeah, he, his stuff is hit or miss. Um, prices are... They're okay, They're but solid. I got some stuff that I wanted, so can't go wrong with that. So while Sam was in the bathroom, I went ahead and bought this bunny cage because my girlfriend has a bunny and we need this to take it to the vet and stuff. So they had it for eight, talking down to seven. So, I mean, a dollar off is a dollar off. What you got there, Sam? Uh, microphone stand. I think it's the same thread. Leo, do you think it'll fit? Yeah, I think so. Alright, Sam, what did you see over there? Uh, it's a stand for a microphone for our podcast. But I ultimately decided not to get it because... I mean, it was big enough to the point where it will still be able to be in a place where we could record all of us. Um, I need to get like one of those arm things where they actually put on the table. Cause you put it on the ground and it's like, it's just, it wasn't cool. It was cool, cause it was heavy duty, it was five bucks only, but. Yeah, it was man. a good deal, but it's one of those things where it's like, if we really need equipment, we'll probably do a little bit of research ourselves into it. Uh, what do you think of that? Like, like that time we almost bought lights, but we kind of backed out of it and resorted to the internet. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's better to get like actual look, in, look into it first and actually get equipment that's made for what, like, what we know we're going to get than actually do it on a whim. That's true, because another thing too, it's like here, sometimes you never know what you're going to get versus the internet. You could pretty much get a really good idea of something before it gets shipped to your house. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so yeah, we ditched that seller and maybe someone will get a mic stand for five bucks. <laughs> Alright, so we're leaving the flea market right now. Overall, how was your boys' experience? Eh. I say six or seven out of ten. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with that. I'm gonna go maybe yeah. pretty, pretty, pretty um, <laughs> solid. I'm gonna go maybe six out of ten for me because I got games, but I don't know if I like them too much. I got this cage, so I don't know. Time to go eat, and then what else are we gonna do today, Leo? Uh, I believe we're going to Santa Cruz, and I'm not sure what else. I, th I completely forgot actually. What do you mean what else? We're going to the beach. Well, that's part of Santa Cruz. <laughs> Yours? Oh. What else?
uh, boys, we did find an in and out that was open, so we are gonna eat this time. Got myself a number one double double with fries. Got a gonna take this gym right here. Looking around, there's only some construction workers, so unless they play go, I should get some coins by the end of the day from uh, my Tyranitar being there. If you guys are having a good time, please remember if you want to like, comment, or subscribe to us, please let us know how we're doing in the comments. And if you like what you're seeing, let us know by subscribing because we're a very small channel, so we'd appreciate every support that we get. Thank you very much so much, guys. So keep watching, have a good time. Leonardo. Yeah. Look over here, boy. Ooh. You know, every time you guys bring attention to it, it just makes me feel weird to wearing all this stuff. Oh, That's man. why we're doing it. You gotta flex, Leo. You know I'm I had flexing. You know, you know, <laughs> you know, Leo had to do it to them. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah,